What's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be taking a look at a free online video editor. Not only a free online video editor, but a free online video editing all kind of purpose tool. This particular website has a free meme maker, a free uh, subtitler, a free montage maker. Sorry, I, I couldn't remember all this stuff it had, but it's on my screen behind me, so I had to turn around. Um, but it has all these tools, literally probably about like nine, ten plus tools that are all based around video editing and overall this is heavily targeted towards the uh, kind of average video editor who maybe you don't have the most advanced um, skill set in one of the more reputable kind of more professional video editors but you still want to be creating certain projects and overall you want an all-purpose tool to do this this is a great website for you and overall stay tuned I'm gonna be showing you exactly what the website is how to get to it and you know how to use it <laughs> without further ado let's get into the video all right guys so we have opened up the website and it is actually titled cap wing cap wing the online video editor cap wing is a modern editor for videos gifs and images Try our free meme maker, resizer, subtitle maker, filters, and more. And essentially what this is right here is a all-in-one tool for a vast variety of different video editing tasks, I suppose, basically, that kind of would be um, available to you in a big real video editor or video editing software. And they've tried to combine, I guess, all of the most useful tools that maybe the average kind of... Um, content creator might you might need from one of these uh, more paid um, and more professional video editing softwares and they've actually tried to take all of these kind of little little features that maybe again like I said the average kind of user might want such as a meme maker uh, subtitles to videos video montage maker a video collage maker various video filters, image to video, reverse video, basically all the, the kind of small average little effects, again, that the kind of average user might want. So let's go ahead and just take a look at some of these tools. These guys actually sent me an email. I think they're a pretty new software. So I, you know, I thought I may as well shine some light on their website for anybody that might actually find some of these tools interesting and useful to basically whatever projects you guys actually got going on. So I may as well just go ahead and start with the uh, with the meme maker. Why not? So just, just to kind of have a look at how all their little tools are working. So the way they say it is we upload our content, then we get to add our text, and then we share our meme. All right, so this is kind of just like um, adding some random stuff. Uh, <laughs> I could add this, this random picture right here from an old project I just worked on. Um, okay, so this looks pretty cool. You basically just have a picture, and then you can create some text. So I'm going to put this as a... Finally, this video is done. Uh, this actually took me ages not to complete it, this video right here, but just to just to finish the adjustments for the client because the client was really annoying on this one. Um, client was really annoying. <laughs> All right, there we go. So that's my first meme. Obviously, you can see I make that super easy just through the meme creator on this Capwing website. Basic, definitely. You could obviously switch it to black or to white depending on, I guess, what kind of vibe you want. Um, finally, this video is done. Client was really annoying. Accurate. Definitely accurate. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and jump a couple pages back and try the subtitler now. All right, so basically I could actually upload a little video to put some subtitles on. Um, we could just go ahead and throw this teaser in there, which is part of a video I just finished working on, which honestly may have come out before this one, to be fair. Um, I'm not too sure though. Maybe not. Uh, either way, we're gonna upload this. I'm not actually talking in this video, so we'll just mess about with it and kind of just fake some stuff. But either way, let's upload it right now and, uh, and actually just go ahead and have a look. I need to take a little sip of water. The website's too good. <laughs> it's making me dehydrated, you know? The website is just too entertaining. Um, overall, though, I think these are some very cool tools. By all means, this is more going out to some of the more, um, you know, no offense, but kind of like more amateur kind of creators who are maybe just creating stuff for a personal YouTube channel or you're creating stuff for, for any number of random personal social media accounts or you're kind of just starting out but you have aspirations to do a lot of higher level stuff. Either way, this is a, this subtitle maker right here is we just, we go through, so say we wanted it at two seconds, we would go here and then I guess we adjust this to two seconds, to about two seconds. Yep, and then we could actually, oh, pause that, man. Go ahead and what, do this. Um, what's what's the kind of subtitle? 
uh, subtitle, subtitle swag man, subtitle swag man. I think that's a good subtitle, man. And then we could adjust down here to actually, so we wanted it from two seconds to five seconds, all right? So from two seconds to five seconds, we can keep watching our preview window. It's gonna say subtitle swag man, and then at five seconds is going away. All right, so it's got a pretty cool uh, subtitle creator as well. I can imagine that right there is pretty annoying to go through and tweak heavily, but that's another one of the tools ticked off. Um, and I'm just trying to run through as many tools as I could be bothered to go through this, guys, uh, before the end of the video, just so you can, guys can get a nice all-rounded opinion and overall uh, look into Cap Wing, a brand new all-tool inclusive online video editor that just emailed me telling me, hey, hey, Jack, do you want to... If you want to have a little look at our new software or our new website? So I said, hell yeah, let's do it. Um, but I'll, I'll link all this down below for you guys, obviously. But this next tool is a a montage maker, which I'm not really too interested in. But by all means, guys, go check that out. I want to check out the video filters. Okay, so if I upload a video, again, I'm not looking to upload the craziest thing. I'm just going to go ahead and upload this right here, which should not take too long to upload. But thinking about it, that actually might have just been longer than the last sequence that I tried to upload, which actually took a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna wait for that uh, that to upload right there. And um, then we can actually try out a couple of these little filters. So the filters, uh, your video perfect. Use Capwing's powerful online editor to filter and adjust your content. You can adjust brightness, contrast, and saturation of your video without ever having to leave the browser, use any image or video. Please paste a link to an image or video that you can find on the web and we'll do the work. You can also upload files from your local computer. Okay, that's dope. So we could actually just paste like a YouTube link and then start adding filters and download it from that. That's very dope as well. That's very, very cool. By all means, drag and hold to toggle the filter. Note, this is just a preview. Okay, so if we give this a play, go ahead and get to a nice frame where I would maybe want to start it. Okay, we could maybe start it on my face right there. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm gonna come over. I'm looking for one that I like, this moose. What, I gotta click that? Okay, damn, look at that. That's a little bit crazy right there, isn't it? So I'm gonna keep rolling through, I'm gonna try them all out. Rays, I kinda like rays, but it needs a bit more contrast. Do we have tools? Yeah, we do, adjustment, okay, there we go. So we could take the rays, you see what I mean? And actually add that contrast right there. Add a little bit more saturation, so I could be looking, I'm looking pretty yellow there. <laughs> and the grass is getting greener in the back as well. Or I kinda just look like I got a big sun in my face. Um, the fade to film, eh, we could have a little bit of fade to film, but not too much. And I want to bring that vignette in a little bit. <laughs> Look at that, it's coming over the play button. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> um, I'm going to give that a play right now. All right, hell yeah, look at that. So if you guys are looking for an, a free online color corrector as well, this is literally a free online color corrector. This is awesome, to be honest. And the process of actually creating it. So let's actually have a look. So if we wanted to create it, your video is being processed. Whoa, what's all this? So let's actually have a look. All right, writing frames. So it's going through, look at that. So this is like a like a HTML generated render preview or something like that. I don't really know. I'm not too big on the computer codes or anything like that, but this is pretty cool. Look at this, writing frames, writing frames, and it's actually rendering it, I suppose, by writing all those frames right there. And then when we hit 100%, this should just download and we should just kind of get access to the file type. But I just want to run through that process quick to ensure nobody is uh, getting a little bit confused on how we actually receive that final file. Um, and let's see how we do because I haven't actually downloaded anything from here. But boom, that's they make it very simple. We just click download and then boom, it's just downloaded down there. And if we click this now, okay. So if we click this now, it is, of course, it is, of course, playing. It does look like they've added a small little watermark down there, which I actually did not realize they were going to add. Um, I thought it was just an entirely free version. But to be honest, no offense to Capwing at all, but you guys could probably just add a black bar right there. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to show you how easy it would be now to remove that Capwing, um, what's it called, watermark right there. And... I'll just show you how easy it is to remove. Hold on, I'm gonna open up Premiere Pro quick and show you guys how in literally two seconds you can remove that watermark right there and this is an entirely free software. I'm sorry about that. I didn't even know until now. I just found out that that is watermarked. I had no clue, but to be honest, it makes sense. They give you a lot of 
cool stuff and cool tools. Anyways, hold tight. I'll be back in Premiere and I'll show you exactly how we can actually remove that watermark right there. All right, what's going on guys? So now I'm in Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and open up this right here. Go ahead and drag this in, this final. Actually, just go ahead and drop that in there. Go ahead and delete Chrome and just go ahead and drag that final into here. And this is the video they let us download. Now we've got this pesty annoying capwing.com watermark right there. No worries, it's not a problem at all. All we have to do is go ahead and um, import some black bars or create some. If you guys go to the description down below, I'll make sure to leave these black bars so you can just download them in one quick file. Go ahead and just throw them over um, this cap wing and actually just go ahead and uh, go go this set, set to frame size. And actually just go ahead and adjust some black bars to cover that watermark right there. And this actually makes the, uh, the video looks so much more cinematic anyway. So now we've got this cool color corrected video and it did have that cap wing there at the, uh, at the bottom, but we just added these black bars over it so that you guys don't have to deal with any annoying pasty cap wing stuff or anything like that. And overall, you guys can actually find a, a very cool fix like that around it. Now, what, what dimensions is this? So it's some pretty random dimensions, um, uh, but either way, this, this particular black bars effect can be done to any of these videos that you guys actually create, whether that be, you know what I mean, any of the tools that they offer you inside of Capwing. But overall, this has been my video explaining and overall walking through this free online video editing tool, which has a bunch of different kind of all access tools as well, as I've just walked you through and shown you a couple of them. By all means, the website's gonna be linked down below. Have a look more in depth into this site for me and uh, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.